In July 2023, David Grush, former U.S. Air Force intelligence officer told the U.S. Congress that the American government is in possession of UFPs along with their dead pilot. That sent shockwaves around the world. Grush asserted the U.S. government runs a secretive UFO recovery program. But that's about it. Grush did not have any verifiable evidence to support his claims. He said the information was classified and he could not divulge any details under oath. Later, NASA came up with a report denying any evidence of an extraterrestrial source. Claiming that it has no knowledge of Grush's claims. Grush's congressional theatrics weren't the end of the UFO saga. Just weeks later, another UFO session at the Mexican Congress took a bizarre turn when a coffin-like box appeared, supposedly containing the remains of aliens. Spoiler alert, no aliens were found in that box. So, what does this all mean for the search for extraterrestrial life? Congressional hearings may not be the place from where we discover aliens. Instead, it is much more likely that our first contact with extraterrestrial life will come through the detection of signals by scientists. This is where a group of scientists are focusing their efforts, listening and watching the universe. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence or SETI is a research center based in Silicon Valley. Their work involves hunting for signs of life on other planets through radio waves, the same waves controlling the FM radio in our cars. We are surrounded by radio waves in the cosmos, and these signals can carry clues about their source. But not all radio signals are created equal. While natural sources of radio waves have distinct characteristics, artificial sources, such as alien transmissions, are narrower, having specific frequencies that indicate a technological origin. SETI is working on tuning into these radio waves, almost like searching for the cosmic equivalent of a radio station. The challenge is sifting through the vast cosmic noise to identify the right signals. But the search continues, despite numerous false alarms. Searching for extraterrestrial intelligence involves looking for signs of advanced technology, not just listening for radio signals. Take for instance the presence of gases like nitrogen dioxide and chlorofluorocarbon, chemicals which cannot be produced naturally might hint at the presence of extraterrestrial societies. From gases and planets to strange objects near stars, scientists are exploring various avenues. And then there are the interstellar objects, comets, asteroids, like Oumuamua, discovered in 2017 by NASA, which is 300,000 years old and could provide unique opportunities to study the wider universe. Detecting a confirmed signal from extraterrestrial intelligence would be a historic moment, changing our perspective on the universe and the possibility of life beyond Earth. So, while congressional hearings may grab headlines, the real quest for life beyond the Earth continues, guided by the curiosity and determination of scientists. Till we tune into the sound of alien life, join us on this exciting journey of scientific discovery. This is Synapse, where the quest for knowledge knows no bounds.